should be. Something is lurking in the science department. It's already dead, I didn't kill him. Something year seven have never seen before. It comes back to life and Will they make it through? Find out. and tropical. This one, the one, it's Dory. My favourite animal is a snake. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. There's no denying, our year sevens love animals. Hello. She's cute. But Mr Shaw has got news of a science lesson which might prove a challenge for the animal lovers. So I've got to talk to you about something. Okay. The next lesson, going to do a different type of lesson, okay? Yeah, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm going to get to that, okay? So sometimes in science, in order to find out how the world works and things, okay, you have to do particular experiments, which some people don't like. Next lesson, I'm going to be dissecting. What does that mean? Uh, Dissecting means to cut up. Okay. Okay. Maybe pull little bits apart, but I'm going to be a rat. Okay. Like, like this big. It's already dead. I didn't kill it. Okay. I like animals. I didn't kill it. So science dissection is a pretty grown up thing to do. But I really feel that this class is going to be able to, to handle it. Now, I can tell by the faces of some people, the way you're reacting, some people are like, that's so cool. Yeah. Right? There's also some people going, yeah, your type. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it's going to be disgusting seeing the lungs and the skeletons yeah. and the heart and the brains. Abdul, put it a funny face. How are you feeling about me cutting up a rat? That's it. I feel okay with it. I love animals, and I don't like to see them killed. And it's not just the dissection that's got Abdul thinking. I'm trying to decide if whether I'm a carnivore or uh, a vegetarian. Right now I'm in the middle. So, I fancy a sandwich. Back home with his big sister, Amon, Abdul fancies a snack. Well, there are a lot of ingredients here, so I'll just go with the only one that we have. Mayonnaise. Food plays about one of the most important parts of my life. I eat more than anything I do. Okay, mayonnaise. I have breakfast, then I have a little snack, then I have another little snack, then it's lunch, and then I have a big lunch. Then I have another snack, and then another snack, and dinner. Just mayonnaise. Like, nothing in between. 
mean like no fillings or anything, just mayonnaise, plain mayonnaise on a bread. On two bread. Near my entire family it are like carnivores, meat eaters, and uh, they say that I should be like them. Why on earth do you want to be a vegetarian when a complete family are meat eaters? I don't know. I guess it. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not really into uh, eating animals and stuff. A mayo sandwich might not be the healthiest option, but it does count as vegetarian. And at his dad's shop, there's lots of food perfect for a vegetarian. Or maybe not. My dad is a butcher, and I think it would be weird for him that his own son would be the opposite of his work. Dad, what are you doing? I'm cutting meat. Oh, what is oh. it? Yes, the sheep. Shoulder, neck, chops, and the, the, the you know, biscuit. Yeah. Talk about slice and dice. I think this is uh, helping the vegetarian side of me uh, 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 quite a lot. got some choices to make, but what do the rest of Year 7 think? i never become a vegetarian because I don't like veg, so I just failed. <laughs> Literally the only thing I eat is pasta, so basically um, Chicken is so nice. Chicken Kievs! Chicken and chips and donna kebab. Mutton and rice. We get chicken and rice. One tops. <laughs> bacon. Oh, I hate bacon. Bacon. Ten piece chicken and chips. After a bit, you get bored of it. The only meat I eat is chicken. I don't eat it often. Mm, I eat. Not a joke. I eat. I eat like every two months. I don't still, you're still eating it though. So I'm basically, I'm a vegetarian. Right. So we saw what we did yesterday. We're doing prime numbers and factors. What's prime number? Morgan. You can only divide it by itself in one. Yes, perfect. The prime number is a number that has only two factors. Sheets at the back. Carry on from where you left off, apart from Morgan. Morgan! As a maths teacher, it's really important for me to challenge Year 7. And I think Morgan can handle something even more complicated. What's the highest common factor in both? is like one of my favourite subjects because mum's an accountant so she's always like giving me sums and things like that and helping me. What's that? The highest common factor. Are you telling me the biggest number that goes 16 and 24 is 8? It is 8. Is it? It is 8. I'm going to check the formula. Right, take a whiteboard. Go and teach those two how to do it. I'm in big school now. To get my head down, just put that extra bile in. So what's the smallest prime factor? She's brilliant at maths. And look, Two. she's even got a blue Peter badge. Because not many kids can say, oh yeah, I've got a blue Peter badge. I'm like always looking for something to do, always looking for an extra challenge. <laughs> right, let's sell down quickly, please. At the beginning of each year, form groups are asked to vote for a leader. Monday it spoke about form leaders, okay? So it's about people or picking someone who wants to represent 7C. So put your hand up if you think you'd like to try and go for form. Wow, loads of you. You have 30 seconds to give your speech to the class. I think I would be a good representative because um, I think I can help people inside the classroom. I would like to be a form leader because I'm a good helper. Um, in my old primary, I usually do jobs every lunchtime morning and after school. A form leader is like a really good opportunity because you need to make friends, and the only way it is by making yourself stand out. I think I'd make a really good form leader because I like to help people, and like if you've got any troubles, then you can come to me. Good round of applause, then, guys. Well done. Thank you, Morgan. Thank
and like a girly girl wearing skirts, wearing heels and things like that. Do you want to tell you, I'm just trying not to get it on my nails that are all things. But then at home I'm like, forget that, just chuck out on. Like tracksuit bottoms, I don't really care because I'm going night in top woods anyway. understand 
sort of how bodies work, how animals work, the fact that we're quite similar to a lot of them inside, a lot of them perhaps might not get that. So to cut them open, to get hands on and see it and smell it, it, it sort of really brings that to life. <laughs> Okay. Just a bit. Okay. So he did it in a primary school and that's you need to be sick, there's a pin, just there. It smelled like uh, vomit. And I, and, I, and I felt like I was gonna vomit, and I needed fresh air. Right, if you can't open the stomach. No! A mouse has jelly beans in his belly. Kidneys. Yeah. There were kidneys in the side of But they look like jelly beans. Nah, I'm out. It's not a shape. When this job pulled out like it's hot, uh, it was it was too much for me, so I just went to the back of the classroom. As much as it like killed me inside because I didn't want to see the poor rat like bit up into pieces. I wanted to watch it because it's a part of biology, and I'm gonna have to dissect something myself in the future. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was uh, educational. R.I.P. Rats. <laughs> Who really, really, really likes animals here? Yeah. Okay. How does it make you feel? Like, put your hand up, tell me. How does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel like, sorry for the rap, but then it makes me feel glad that I've actually seen the guts and the go because I want to do it when I'm older. So. You want to do it when you're older, that's awesome. Even after seeing the rat, I still want to be a vet. I don't care. Because if you really have a passion for animals, you will put up with whatever you need to put up with in order to help them. Talk of the dissection is buzzing around the school. I bet it's put you off eating, hasn't it? It's put me off eating. Look! Mr Shaw wants to know how his class feel about it. We can discuss how the rat dissection made you feel in the lesson, OK? Because sometimes in science we have to do things like that to find out how the world works. So you thought that it was sick, then I felt sick. And literally, after the thingy, I was, I was okay with looking inside. It yeah. was the smell. Can you describe the rat dissection in three words? Morgan. Interesting, educational, and cool. Our year sevens are still talking about animals. And this lesson might just help Abdul decide if he wants to turn vegetarian or not. OK, so if you think we all should be vegetarian, you go to this side. If you think we shouldn't, you go to this side. Quietly, please, Jack. Thank you. Generally, quite a lot of people eat meat two or three times a day. Sometimes people have it for breakfast, for lunch and for tea. Our bodies are only to eat meat twice per week. OK, who wants to talk to me on this side? Um, I picked them. Um, no, everyone shouldn't be vegetarian because God made those animals for um, them to be killed and for people to eat them. I know it's cruel, but it's, it's really tasty. It's cruel, but it's tasty. That's yeah, a really good like... message. I like that. Let's go to Morgan to see what she's got to say. I think that we should all be vegetarian because um, animals are getting killed. Vegetarian me, I have tried it before. Yeah. And it tastes like, okay, so you could just live off that, so then animals could, like, still be alive. So I speak to you, Ella. Ella, so why were you a vegetarian at one point? What, what made because you I thought, it? like, eating animals was, like, disgusting, because they get killed for no reason. I tried to be a vegetarian for a week. At the end, then, my mum, they cooked my mom. chicken, wrapped in bacon, and I couldn't resist and I had to eat it. OK, so... Right, Abdul, what's your point of view on this? So my point of view is that if everyone just eats vegetables all day, then they will be healthy, but they won't have a lot of, of proteins. And what does eggs contain? Protein. 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 I've been vegetarian um, since I've got, I was younger than all of you. So I get quite a lot of my protein. I've been a vegetarian since I was 10. I am really confused so far because uh, I like animals, but at the same time, like salad and stuff, they don't taste as nice. Uh, so... Today, there's a Year 7 trip to a working farm where the animals aren't pets but bread for food. Did you know that my dad was a butcher? Yeah. And it's already on Abdul's mind. I mean, our freezer is filled with meat. Maybe today would be the day. Ah, the beautiful English.
English countryside, the rolling green landscapes, the peace and quiet, and all that fresh oh, air. There's a shovel of poo wet right there. Where we got there? It smelled like poo. Died. The smell just killed me. It, suffocated. it killed me already. It suffocated. It's like, no. <laughs> from the country so for me I actually felt like I was getting into the fresh air but I think for a lot of them they were definitely holding their noses from a long way out. Good morning everybody welcome to Whirlow Hall Farm we're going to be working with you today and we've got lots of jobs for you to do. Is anybody here feeling a little bit nervous about working with any of our animals? Chickens. The chickens. Don't want chickens. Okay. It is perfectly normal to feel a little bit nervous about Hang on. I thought Morgan loved all animals. Shut up, I don't like chickens. I actually don't like chickens. facing up to her fears. Yeah, no, don't worry. They're all running towards me. I don't like it. Oh my gosh, I can't near my feet. Morgan, don't worry. Don't flap, near me. I've got a fear of you, so yeah, move. So if you want, you can give her a stroke and just stroke her down the back of her body like that. I'm really nervous at first, and then I started to overcome my fears and started stroking them. Tony, okay, you don't know how much I've faced my fears today. That's really good. I'm really impressed. Fever. Morgan. Don't be scared. Okay. But I just don't like them because they've got red eyes and they just like all look weird and creepy. The eyes were black, not red. I saw one with red eyes. This is Angela, and Angela has 12 piglets, so these are about a week and a half old. When we saw the piglets, like, I fell in love with them straight away. Look at that little bit in the one! That's tiny! It was about this big, and it was, oh my god, it was adorable, I want one. Look at his little bum! <laughs> just about little piglets we're growing pigs here for food so these pigs here are nearly ready to be sent away to be made into meat for us to sell in our shop just think these ones like little cute little piglets ones and they're just gonna be dead that's the reason that our farm is here is to grow pigs to, so that we can make food for people to eat absolutely reeked in there. There was like a really bad smell. I think it was either the food or them. I, I just knew that if, if, if I stayed like a, a minute, I, I think I wouldn't make it. Why, why did you want to come outside? Because if I didn't come out, I probably would have died in there. There's a good reason why Muslims don't eat pigs. I'm a Muslim, basically. And uh, Muslims don't like pigs because they're, they're dirty, they're unclean, they're untidy. So Abdul won't eat pork. But what other meat can he eat? Cows, chicken, roast, turkey, lambs, uh, everything else is on the menu. Year 7 are given the important job of weighing the sheep. And if the sheep are over 40 kilograms, they will be sent to the abattoir. OK, so you two are going to be in here. Um, with the sheep, and you're going to be um, getting the sheep um, into the scale. So do we like do kind of round them up? Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, no, no, I'm I don't want you to bite them. <laughs> Just push them in. Go run, go they bite? Go run, they won't bite you. Just get in. Abdul. Oh my gosh. Go on, push that one. Push it. I'm just a little bit scared of pushing them. No, they're, they're all right. Abdul. 
No offence. It was pathetic. I you know what like it. Go on. Please, please. Put your arm around. Put your arm around. Yeah, but Abdul were just cuddling them. Come on, get in there. Come on, do it to me. Come on. Like this one. And Morgan will come in with one hand and just, like throw it to the other side. She was like a machine. She was being like, Abdul. Yeah. Yeah. 